This film is about deforming curves in the plane. You can think of a curve as the path of a moving point, but we require that our curve satisfy certain conditions. First, we only consider closed curves, that is, curves where the moving point returns to the starting position. Second, the point must not jump. It must move continuously. Third, there must be a tangent line at every point on the curve. The tangent vector is defined as the arrow along this line in the direction the point is moving. The fourth condition is that the tangent vector must turn smoothly and continuously as the point moves along the curve. This means that corners are not allowed because the tangent vector would jump. Fifth and finally, we must also require that the tangent vector returns to its initial direction. This prohibits corners at the starting point. Curves which satisfy all these conditions are called regular closed curves, or simply regular curves. A deformation from one regular curve to another consists of a series of intermediate curves, one for each instant of time. As with the curves, we put certain conditions on these deformations. An easy way to illustrate these conditions is to show ways in which they are violated by deforming a figure eight to a circle. First, you must not break the curve. Second, you are not allowed to lift the curve out of the plane. Every intermediate curve must stay in the plane. Third, the curve may not suddenly jump from one position to another. It must move continuously throughout the deformation. Fourth, corners are not allowed because each intermediate curve must be regular. Cusps are prohibited for the same reason. Fifth and finally, the tangent vector must turn continuously during the deformation. That is, the tangent vector at a particular point must not jump. Here, though each intermediate curve is regular, the tangent vector at the top jumps when the smaller loop disappears. We can also state the conditions for a regular homotopy in a positive way. Each intermediate curve must be regular. That is, if a point moves around the intermediate curve, both the point and its tangent vector must move continuously and return to their initial positions. Also, if we choose a particular point on the initial curve and follow it as the curve deforms, both the point and its tangent vector must move continuously. A deformation which satisfies all these conditions is called a regular homotopy. If there is a regular homotopy between two curves, we say that they are regularly homotopic. Are the figure eight and the circle regularly homotopic? The ways we have seen for turning a figure eight into a circle all violate the rules. Later in the film we will prove that there is no regular homotopy between them. This proof uses rotation numbers. The rotation number of a regular curve is the number of times the tangent vector rotates going once around the curve. For example, 
This curve has rotation number one. Remember that a curve is the path of a moving point. You must specify the direction it is traced, and this may affect the rotation number. So a circle drawn in a counterclockwise direction has rotation number one. But in a clockwise circle, the tangent vector turns in the opposite direction. So the rotation number is minus one. This curve has rotation number two. What is the rotation number of this curve? It is three. Note that the rotation number is always an integer, since the tangent vector always returns to its initial direction. What is the rotation number of a figure eight? It is zero. Now we will prove this theorem. Two regular curves in the plane, which are regularly homotopic, must have the same rotation number. If this theorem is true, then there is no regular homotopy between the circle and the figure eight, because they have different rotation numbers. Suppose we have a regular homotopy between two curves. This means that small steps in the deformation will give small changes in corresponding tangent vectors. In fact, the change can be made so small that the tangent vectors stay close all the way around the curves. So the rotation numbers are close. But at the end of the curve, both rotation numbers must be integers, and the only way integers can be close is to be equal. So, the rotation numbers of these two regular curves are equal. In a regular homotopy, we can find a series of intermediate curves so that corresponding tangent vectors stay close from one curve to the next. Therefore, the rotation number stays the same from one curve to the next. So the beginning and final curves have the same rotation number. This completes the proof. We have used the fact that in a regular homotopy, the tangent vector at a particular point moves continuously during the deformation. This is the condition which enables us to find small steps where the tangent vectors are close. It is not enough that the curves themselves are close. The direction of corresponding tangent vectors must also be close, or nearby curves need not have the same rotation number. As we said before, this theorem shows that a circle and a figure eight are not regularly homotopic. We can also use it to show that a circle cannot be turned inside out. Suppose we have a counterclockwise circle, which has rotation number one. Note that the outside is red. If we break the circle, which is not allowed in a regular homotopy, we can turn it inside out. Note that the red is now on the inside and the circle is traced in a clockwise direction. It has rotation number minus one.
the theorem tells us that the two curves cannot be regularly homotopic because they have different rotation numbers. So any attempt to turn a circle inside out will violate one of the conditions for a regular homotopy. For instance, this deformation has cusps. We proved that regularly homotopic curves have the same rotation number. What about the converse? If two regular curves have the same rotation number, is there always a regular homotopy between them? The answer is yes, as will be proved in part two. For example, this curve has rotation number one, the same as a circle. Can you find a regular homotopy between this curve and a circle? Take a loop of string and move it around on a table. Remember, no lifting out of the plane, no breaks, no jumps, and no kinks.